to your district and uh, share a bit about the population. Uh, sorry, your name and your district first of all, and then your population and terrain, please. Thank you very much. My name is Samuel Kony Igwe. I'm the member for Makam in Morobe province. Um, so, you can talk with you too. Population loon uh, and the terrain? Uh, population of Makam is around 62,000. Around 60,000. About 62,000. Yeah. Huh? When was the latest uh, the census? Are you uh, confident of those figures or is this an estimate? No, it's an estimate there, but that's the data given to me by my district staff. And the real number, uh, what do you think? The, the real number will be ar around 17 now. Around 17. So, so that's pretty close. Yeah. That's pretty close. Okay, um, terrain, tell us a bit about the terrain. Is it just flatland savanna or you got the mountain? Makam. Makam is a name that the old man took Makam Valley is a valley, but Makam, the electorate itself is not just a valley. We have Makam electorate up mountains towards Kaboom, Raikos on the Medellin side, up in Wantua, we have mountains on the Ongawafa LLG, that's up at the uh, bordering Meniama and Obura Wanena in the Eastern Highlands province. What's your land mass? Uh, my yeah. land mass, I, I would not give you the price that I get. But, but plenty, lots of areas not inhabited. Huh? Yes, yes. Stars, yeah. Okay. Tell us a bit about the. Maybe we start with your your vision for the pro, uh, for the electorate for the district. What is your overarching vi vision in the next ten years? Where would you like to see Makam? Makam with the valley. People have said Makam is a football of Papua in agriculture. Unfortunately, after decades of years, I think the valley is not being producing enough on agriculture. Um, we still have potential on coffee, on the people living up the mountains. Today, Makam is now pick, picking up in, the, uh, in uh, uh, money making. Cacao now is a big. Uh, first income okay. for people in Makam. And the priorities for the valley is connection into small various areas within the valley on roads. It's one of the problems. We have a large you know, mass of valley. You, you have people producing things like watermelon, uh, greens, but they can't get them access to the highway. So that, that is still a, a problem there. And with the, uh, with the coffee and those produce back up in the mountains of Wantua and uh, Ongawafa, there is still lack of road link there. So well, the priority I'm taking now is to link up the district by roads. When we have connectivity on roads to those remote areas, uh, we will access them by what services that we need. So road is my priority. Okay. So economic highlights, it's uh, as a food bowl you'd like, sorry, vision, got your vision, I'm sorry for jumping. Um, if we move along to the highlights of the province, you've spoken of the potential as a food bowl, you've spoken about the difficulties in, in um, getting fresh produce to markets. Agriculture and people something big plus something like that. Now, suppose you push him one one of the products like agriculture, but you push him. We grow rice there. Rice. Some talk people are not growing rice, but we did rice. How much rice by two kai? It's done in Makam Valley. And we grow rice, so we have potential to put up uh, rice there. Uh, we follow all vegetables. We can feed our own. You know, we grow cabbage. We grow cash crop, uh, fresh produce, fresh produce, produce cash crop. And as I think cattle has been big in Makam before. Now cattle farm and brought down now. We have to put in some cattle there. Bring him up cattle. We have ramu sugar. We have the ramu beef abattoir up there. I, I, I need to use those big land to put in cattle for producing. What are your... What are the big targets? Um, with downstreaming um, or with uh, um, processing, 
what are you looking at uh, you talk about abattoir As, is there any specific um, are any other targets that you would set for yourself for the 10 years or the five years let's, let's say within the five year period one of the big ticket items you can you'd really definitely want to achieve and put on your list is um, to accomplish this week has been increasing in cacao producing now and I have uh, people like Edmark, Edmark going in there, other exporters of cacao exporters out of the country, they are all there now. I want to see Makam exporting their own cacao, not other people going there exporting cacao out from there. Our own produce there, we must also export our own. So you a business arm of... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm registering a business arm and I'm working towards that and that is the aim that I want to see the produce of Makam being exported out by the local company. Downstreaming? What are your thoughts Down, on downstreaming? On, on downstreaming is one of those problems we're thinking. We have a failed oil pump project that uh, the Morobe Provincial Government and the district have done. And now that we, we, we already have those oil pumps going up, bearing fruits, we've done nothing on that. So now, with my priority now is to set up a small meal that we can produce cooking oil and those little things on downstreaming. We, we are doing that uh, back within the district here. So cacao, lululo export, uh, oil palm, lululo downstream, downstream. Uh, processing yeah. internally, yeah. Um, and exporting domestic and international. Domestic, yeah. um, coffee, are you, do you have coffee? Coffee, we coffee? also have in that. We have a big number of coffee. coffee and. Uh, Makam coffee, the cup competition has been one of shown one of the best coffee we have, organic coffee we have there. And the problem we have now, we don't have a meal, a coffee meal, and uh, me and my district are working on that to have a coffee meal, and then we will go looking into downstream processing to that meal. Okay. Um, coffee, you, cacao, we talked about, we touched on. Cattle. Do you have any? Well, you talk about the abattoir, um, but it, what are your plans in growing um, the cattle and livestock um, component? This should be my second time in Parliament. Yeah, in my first time in Parliament, I've already started a small cattle farm within my local, and we are now getting in new breeds of cow today. I mean, people are start working, and then. We, we are working with livestock department mm -hmm. to see that we can uh, get enough cow and system only line, yeah. uh, line. Talk to us yeah. about the challenges for the pastor, across the board, no livestock, no, all of agriculture. Talk to us about the challenges. I think our major challenges is government of football of Papua New Guinea. Yeah. I'll win. You need a plan, you put in plan, plan in place, finish. There's a plan there. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm asking for government to give us money. Okay. We have little DSIP money given to the district. But with the DSIP money, it's divided into all kinds of sectors and little work we're doing. We think are big programs for the district. The district like us, the Makam, who have potential on agriculture, those districts has to be given priority through government funding. When we have those government funding to us, helping us, I believe we can help. The, the challenges we have is the funds to drive the plans that we have. Okay, so that's in terms of the economy. Talk to me about, talk to us about the uh, side of education, health, and uh, social order. Mm -hmm. You're right, that's all? Or? We still have problems on education. Uh, but I think we are starting to address some of those problems. Uh, we need to have. Uh, some more high school built, secondary schools built. Uh, we do help some assistance on uh, Tibet, on vocational schools. So we still we still need uh, help on that. Uh, in law and order issue, uh, Makam has been a peaceful place, but now it registered itself on the election that we destroy, we, we bend all the ballot boxes. and So law and order issue is picking up when we are at the junction of the five provinces coming into Morobe province. We have a gateway of all the islands province, Medan, Sipik province, going into uh, into Lay. So by law and order problem, Makam has been first to uh, encounter all kinds of issues like uh, 
drug, uh, homebrew, all these things, they, they come into Makam before it enter lay and form a profit. So we, we are first to enter. And by looking at that, we only have uh, five policemen on the ground. I've built a big police station there with only police, five policemen there. Uh, looking after the whole highway, yeah. public Papua New Guinea traveling up and highway, mm -hmm. looking after all 60,000 people of Macau, with five policemen. That's still a big uh, issue for law and order. Okay, so law and order is an issue. It's um, an issue. It, uh, but it doesn't seem to be as prominent, or, or, or it is as um, as much of a priority as developing the food bowl or food bowl. Or do you think it goes hand in hand? It, it, it goes, it goes in. hand in hand. Okay. So your vision. Tell me your. If we could. Um, okay. So the next. Sorry. The next five years. <coughs> you. One and something. Sir, you think where you can make him. We talk about finish law football. We talk about finish law linking the districts by road. We talk about agricultural livestock. Now, one name something like uh, developing a business arm. So, which, what do you think you can? Where can you take those four areas within the five years? In the economic sector, I build a new market up the highway. I'm building a SMB center. We have 20 building space open for small people to do small business like second hand store trading uh, pharmacy we have we, we build a space of a house 20 spaces built already we have our own SME center there we are giving out uh, we, we are giving out sweat equity funds assisting small people growing them up and accessing them into bank I just argue with the uh, National Development Bank there, that they've withdrawn their brands in Macau, and I say, look, I'm bringing up people to register them through National Development Bank, and now you're already withdrawing the bank for me. So that's, that's some of the things. What? Why did they do withdraw, sorry? Okay, okay. No, that's Recently, fine. They said they are cutting out brands in the district, so Macau was one of them, and they withdrew their brands from Macau. So I just I came and they cool. spoke to me, and I said, I, I, I will talk to you guys. You have to explain to me why you got... That's all. That's... Uh, in uh, business activity because Macau is very fortunate. We have the islands and we're traveling, we have public traveling up and away. Uh, away. So, uh, in economic growth, I think Macau is a potential doing that. It's ahead of the world. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're stepping on, uh, you're starting at a yes, yes. greater, yeah. a better stepping mm. point, starting point. So, we have, we have arrangement with the uh, construction working on the road. They have built, I have told them to build a, a stopover on the highway. The old man's are on the highway, no other toilet, no other tower, many of people are sound. So we, we do on the market side, we, we be, we're building a modern toilet and a sour block for the highway to stop over. And then on the side, we have a shopping center for them. Uh, I'm doing a highway run stopover. On the highways, so that's some of the things. So, this is now. the same place that uh, the SME Center is happening? Yes, there. the same place. At the market, we're building a market there. People buy, they sell there, and then they buy from there. Uh, yeah. That's what we are doing. Okay, that's in the next five years. Mm. What else in the next five years? Uh, in, in health, in health, we now are working with the uh, Australian government. They're helping us now to build a health center, okay. and the health center now to uh, uh, an hospital. Building up district yeah, hospital. District hospital. Yeah. Because we're looking after every accident along the highway, it's Markham there. You know, so we're building that up in health. Um, in education, we're creating two new high schools. Uh, we have new high schools in three LLT, three local level government. So we have high schools in all local level government. Really? Yeah. I have a one to one up already. We're having second grade 10 out already. How many LLGs do you have? Three. Three. Three LLG. Each LLG, each LLG, LLG high have its own high school. Uh -huh. so we have the new Onga Wafa High School. We have a uh, teacher's house going up already with dormitories and things going up. We're looking at by next year, we'll take in the first intake the next year. So that is on education. We're trying to uh, improve on education level. Any thoughts on with education? What about the after um, school? About, um, yes, or we, we have we we, we have a vocational school. We have a vocational school supported by European Union government, and they're giving us containers of uh, 
materials. I think our intake is very well there now. We we have a connection program with the vocational school, Hagen um, uh, Technical uh, Schools, and uh, what's the Polytech in Lane. We have a program connected to that, so that those drop out. They went in there and to do their upgrading also and do training and then put them through programs. The school's capacity, the vocational uh, at, at, at this moment, we have about 300 students mm -hmm. attending every year. Okay. On, uh, on one year mechanics, programs? Or? On two year programs. Two year programs. Yeah. Uh, mechanics, welding, uh, home economics. Agriculture. Yeah, we have a program with uh, Agriculture College in Aachen. So every student who pass out from there, they went through the college. So that's, that's the program we have for. Okay, so next five years, SME Centre, Highway Around Stockover, District Hospital, mm. uh, two new high schools. Yeah. Anything else? And road links to. Uh, how can we the road link to follow one and one and one? Yeah. How, how can we qualify the road link? Uh, would you say various, everywhere? Various roads. Huh? So would you various. say all LGs connected? Yeah, yeah. Is that a connect, good target? Connect, connect the LGs by road. Yeah. Okay. One thing I'm looking at is to connect P uh, PNC power across the valley. We, we, we already have power stopping over at Muchi, where the government station is. All that way valley up, all the way to water ice, and to West Ramosuga, we don't have PNC power connection. And we are working on that to connect. So that's my final power. question, is power and water, running water, um, access to your... Running water is a problem also. With my district now, I'm, I'm putting up uh, water supply to all uh, villages and wards. I'm doing that now, and I still need more water that I can still have. You know, Mainly also, over the time, sun is killing people on the water side. They are now yeah. needing to look crops. Yeah, crops, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so in summary, I would say that yours, you're pretty much said you know that you have um, excellent access at the moment, uh, an opportunity for your district, and um, you're looking at um, really moving the district forward to be the food bowl. Uh, for the uh, we will be watching. Thank you very much. We'll speak with you again soon. Thank you for your time and all the best. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you.